What's going on, guys? Welcome to the new corporate citizen. First of all, I got some shout outs. Shout out to my boy, Alan Roger Curry, who's a solid dude. Shout out to my dude, Ron Wills. Shout out to Edward Anderson. And shout out to all of the people who support Glendon Cameron. I really, really appreciate you because I've been watching you guys. You have been duking it out with the, let's just call it cancel Glendon Cameron crowd. I've literally saw hashtag cancel Glendon Cameron. And I started laughing my butt off. You want to know why? Let me tell you what happened with uh, Savage Finance, my Instagram account. I put up a declaration and I didn't really point it at anyone. I didn't tag anyone. And they got so mad that they flagged it, that Instagram removed that post. And that is the reason that no Savage Finance, my Instagram account doesn't exist anymore because of that post. And I'm like, okay, but Hustlers University is still up. B school for Hustlers is still up. Disruptive mail is still up. You want to know why? Because they can't touch that. YouTube channels are still up. And there's much talk about me going to jail. And there's like, you, you should be in jail, like the FBI. And now there are some people who are asking the question. Y'all keep saying he going to jail. When is he going to jail? He did this weeks ago. He ain't in jail yet. When is he going to jail? Yeah, I'm not going to jail not going to jail. I'm not even worried about it. And also, let's just talk about my life. As you guys know, I have moved and I love this place. I love it. Everyone is so friendly. I have met so many new people here, my new neighbors and stuff. And not one person is like, you that you want to know why? Because these folks got some money. They don't have time to be salivating on the YouTubes and going off. I literally have people who have left comments on all of my channels and Instagram. And that is a loser. You want to know why? Like today, you know what I did? I rented out some cars. I had some GPS kill switches installed on some cars. And I left the house at like eight and I didn't get back to six because I was working. And see, the habits of the productive, because a lot of these folks are losers. Because I was checking out their Instagram page and losers, just, just nothing but loser, non-accomplished people. Now, granted, that video triggered some well-off people, but guess what? The well-off people are not the ones leaving all of these comments and getting in the fights with you guys, the supporters of Glendon Cameron. They're not, I'm just sitting there like, I'm just been watching this. And you know, I've been talking about the great reset is coming, right? It's going to be brutal. It's going to be brutal because right now you have people who, who are quitting their jobs. who don't have another job right now. You have people who are spending crazy amounts of time online, spending more time online than I do. And I actually make money from being online and they spend more time online and I'm just sitting here and I'm beginning to see something. I'm beginning to see what's going to happen right now. You have a whole bunch of folks like how many of you guys watch Stargate Atlantis and remember the Wraith, these things that had these hands and they would put their hand on you and they would literally suck your life force out, suck your soul out. A lot of these people are going to get culled. It was called a culling. They would come in, they would fly their ships and they would just descend upon the people and put their hand on their chest and suck the life out of them. We're going to have that period for about 10 years with a lot of people. Now, once again, we're going to have a group of people who are going to be rising and we're going to have a group of people who are going to be going down. And I am beginning to see who's going to be going down because I'm a social scientist. Right. And I've been like, you know, these people are like, all right, number one, for you to wake up and go to someone's YouTube channel to leave a messed up comment that says a lot about who you are as a person. And you're pretty messed up because 
once again, that video was designed to trigger a lot of people, but there's a lot of people who like, Hmm, that's crazy. And they went on with their life. Now there are some people, this has become their life. And I saw a comment today and I agree with it. It's like, why are all these black YouTubers trying to cancel you? I'm going to tell you why the majority of the black YouTubers are broke. They don't have good channels. They don't have big channels. They don't make money. And this is their opportunity they see to get a little AdSense money and you know, bless them, bless them. Cause I don't know these clowns. I don't know these fools. I don't have time to sit and watch a YouTuber with, a, with, with 40, 50, maybe a hundred, 200, 300 subscribers. And they, they're, they're denigrating and all the folks who are uploading the video, re-uploading it, bad quality. That video was shot in 4k. I don't know what happened with y'all downloading, but to go out and to denigrate someone that has done nothing to you says a lot about who you are as a person. And I like to call these people demo people, demo people, because they can't build. So they destroy. And we have a lot of demo people, a lot of demo people in the black man of spirit. And look at who made videos about me and look at who didn't. Alan Roger Curry, he actually defended me. He made that a patron exclusive video. Look at who didn't make videos or look at who supported me. And I'm glad all this happened because you know, years and years ago, this would have destroyed me. This would have been crazy. Like getting all of these people who were coming to the channel and see, here's the thing. How long are you going to come to my channel and leave a messed up comment? How much money does that put in your pocket? Zero. So at some point you're going to stop doing it. I don't know when, but you're going to stop doing it. And I am getting, and it, it made me realize because during this whole thing and a shout out to the people in the corporate papers, um, I've been talking to you guys and I see that I, me, I have created a problem that the holding company concept is just too much for the average person. It's just too much. So what we're going to do while all of these folks are throwing stones at the screen and you know, I mean, guys, if you're going to insult me, get creative. I mean, when I was a kid, we used to play the game called the dozens and we'd be snapping on each other and talking about people and making people cry. You guys are, you suck at it. Pedophile. You're going to jail. You should be in jail. And then for the, you know, and this is something else too. There's a lot of women who are leaving comments on every channel who want to tell me about themselves. About my, well, actually, yeah, they're telling me about themselves. And I'm just sitting there like, because, you know, I delete the comments. You want why I delete the comments? Because it pisses them off. These people are so vested in the comment. It's like, and I, this one chick, before I delete, I read it, it's like, if you delete this content, you're not going to be willing to accept a consequence, a consequence for a comment. Chick, you don't have that kind of power. You don't have that kind of power. I mean, sorry, you, you actually have no power at all. That's pretty much why you're a loser. That's why you're spending all your time and energy and the number of folks who were checking to see if I deleted the video. And like I posted it on both channels. I didn't delete that video. YouTube deleted that video. You want to know why I didn't delete that video? When that video was up, I had videos that had like 700, 800 and 900 views. They went to 4,000. They went to 5,000. They went to 6,000. I wanted that video to stay up. I really did. So, cause if that video had got to a million views, cause it got too close to like hundred K, if it got to a million views, I will be sitting at about 10,000 subscribers on the lost Kings and I would have a whole bunch of new attention and the attention is kind of tampening down because you know, the lead attorney and Anton scoop, I mentioned his name. They made multiple videos about little old me. They made multiple videos and I like, keep it up, keep it up because see, 
here's something. There, there's the point of going too far. And I think the lead attorney realized that he's like, okay, I'm not going to make any more videos about this topic because at some point your audience will turn on you. You know, people are fickle like that. But going back to what I said, um, I made some mistakes designing the corporate papers. So I've reactivated Hustlers University. I'm going to tell you why I did that. We need to focus on people getting that first company built because that's what I did. I did not start multiple companies at once. Um, I, 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 my first company, I had a job. I had a job. And I kept my job. I did not quit my job because I was making all this money. And it was many, many years before I got into the multiple company situation. Because the first thing I did was get the YouTube stuff down. And then next thing I did was start the other companies and I'm getting ready to start doing a lot of training. So if you feel that you missed out because you didn't get in the corporate papers, don't, 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 don't fret because essentially hustlers Kung Fu. And this, this is, listen to me guys, listen to me. Okay. Right now in the hustlers university, hustlers, Un there's 37 courses. If you buy in today, which is October 22nd, okay, you will be working November, December, January, February, April, and March on that training, that curriculum. And we're getting ready, I'm getting ready to do some challenges. You know, I got my Discord group, and I, I got, because like this move, guys, let me take, man, this move took me four weeks of getting rid of stuff. And I've learned a lot of stuff. I learned some stuff. So now the move is done. The car business, like today, um, I rented it out, Range Rover, has GPS kill switch on it. And um, I got another GPS story. Uh, I got something that's brewing. I don't think it's gonna be anything. But we're gonna get into how to build a business from scratch. And the curriculum is gonna be designed for average people. I'm not going to use any strange language and what's going to happen. Okay. You go ahead and you get in hustlers university. Uh, I think I got it. You can get in at 50 bucks a month. Or you can get in at $99 a month, or I think you can buy one and done for a thousand bucks. Now, everyone that buys into hustlers university, when you're done with that and you feel that you're ready for the corporate papers, I will take whatever you paid for Hustlers University off and you send you a coupon for the corporate papers. And I'm getting ready to start segmenting because, you know, uh, my assistant, her son was sick, so she was out this week. We start segmenting and putting people in classifications. And we're going to have once, you know, like, like I said, tonight I cleaned up. I mean, it was driving me crazy. I actually took a lot of toast to storage. Uh, I'm going to start having two trainings a week and I'm going to start having challenges. Now, what is a challenge? A challenge might like once I got to sit down and put it to paper and design it, but it may be a five day challenge because um, one of the things I want you guys to do is to level up. Now, all right, there, there are many people talking about millionaire game. Uh, I'm not trying to be dismissive or insulting, but guys, the majority of you will never be millionaires. I know that's ugly and brutal, but the reality is most of you, you won't know why the majority of you don't want to work that hard and there ain't nothing wrong with that. What I'm going to do, my goal is to get you to 250. My goal is to get you to 250 because at 250, you will have a hundred K to live on pay your taxes and hundred K to invest. So you will be making a good income and then you will have money to invest to level up over time. Cause once again, like all this, this millionaire talk, like when I got in the storage auction business, it never occurred to me that I could become a millionaire. And I, I didn't become a millionaire in the storage auction business. I didn't, didn't happen. I had a business partner. You know, when I became a millionaire, when I dug deep into myself and I became of immense service 
See, once again, we're going to get into service businesses. We're going to get into marketing. We're going to get into all that. And if you're in the corporate papers, I'm going to have my assistant just send everyone access to that. And we're going to be talking about it and we're going to be having conversations because like I like the conversations because we got we got people who are like way ahead of other people in the corporate papers. And we got people who are kind of in the beginning situation, a rookie situation. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do what I did. Like once again, how many of you guys post stuff on Craigslist? Everyone's going to Facebook Marketplace. Um, I got all kinds of scams on Facebook Marketplace. I was trying to sell this camera and I got these people sending me these fake Zelle. Like, all right, if you have a Zelle account and you, someone sends you some money, you get a notification because I have my cell phone number on there. They don't need, they don't need, it's like, I need your name, I need your phone number, and I need your email. And then I get this email and I go look at my account and there's no money in there. And I, like, I've run into that a lot. But once again, we're going to build, once again, I still have my goal of 50,000 corporate citizens. But what I got to do is bring you up from the trenches, so to speak. You know, um, we're going to start be doing a lot of stuff. And notice right now I have all of this stuff going on and all of these people are throwing stuff at the computer screen and seeing all this other stuff. What am I doing? Working 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 because see i have real businesses unlike the road wearing dude i don't know what he does honestly i have no clue and um i'm going to continue to work because remember at the beginning of the pandemic what did i do i went to work i went to work made more money than I ever made in my life so now i'm getting ready to work uh, for those of you who want to get in the car rental game i got uh, I'll talk about that briefly. Right now, I'm taking the year to learn the business. I have enough cars. I'm not buying any more cars, and I'm working on my utilization because um, currently I have. Let's see. Let's start with the cars in the shop. The minis in the shop. The X5s getting the oil change. The 535s in the shop. Range Rovers in the shop and the white BMW, the bumper came off. So I have five cars in the shop. And I have one, two, three, four, four cars I can rent. Then I have five cars that are wrecked. So out of 31 cars, 20 cars are rented. My intention is to get to where I'm renting consistently 25 to 30 cars a month. So I gotta work on that. And then that will be in the course. Also, a lot of you guys want to do YouTube and let's have this conversation. OK, remember that what I said about work, you don't want to work that hard. YouTube is a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And one of the things that I, I love about this building is there's so many places I can film. It's just going to be hot. It's going to be lit. And um, I'm going to start that training. Now, if you're in the Hustlers University, you're not going to get the YouTube training. And if you're in the corporate papers and you just got the corporate papers, you're not going to get the YouTube training. Only the people who bought the corporate toolbox because they paid way more than you guys. So they're going to get the YouTube training. And that should break out beginning of next year. And we're going to get into advertising and marketing. We're, there's so many things that we're going to do. And um, I am pretty stoked, to be honest. I am pretty stoked because... I can honestly say that I've literally helped thousands of people make more money, thousands. And I feel pretty proud of that. I feel really good about that. And this is one of the reasons, much to the dissenters dismay, because I, like I said, I see you guys. I see you in there defending me. Got my back. I really appreciate you guys. Why are you supporting him? Because, bitch, he did something for me. You ain't do shit for me. And you want me to be in league with you just because you're all up in your emotions? And like I said, you know, I've not watched any of the videos. I know it's mostly males. Mostly males. I know most of the males who are making the videos are feminine and moist men. And I know the majority of them, they, they don't have my level of success. 
What does that tell you? Because I saw the comments it's like, why are all these black YouTubers? I don't know if a white YouTuber has picked it up. I haven't looked. But once again, you know, black folks be trying to the weakest group on the planet be trying to get rid of some of the strongest members. It's funny. But um, I'm getting ready to do some new content, some do some new videos because um, I was moving and I got a little lazy and I stuff for reloaded some older content. So uh, everything going forward is going to be new. It's going to be lit. It's going to be hot. And I can't wait to take the drone out here. The drone is actually in my storage unit because I didn't know where I was going to put it. But I'm getting there, man. I'm getting there. And we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of fun. There's going to be driving videos. It's going to be drone videos. There's going to be all kinds of stuff. And guys, uh, my promise to you is I'm going to do everything I can to help you be successful. But see, you got to meet me in the middle. You, you got to bring some energy and enthusiasm. You just cannot be like, all right, I took this course and I went through the course. He ain't do nothing. Man. That's not going to work. It's not going to work. So um, we're getting ready to do a lot more. Um, yeah, the day is well, I'm taping this Thursday, but it's going to play Friday. Um, and then we're going to have training Sunday. We're going to have training Sunday. And then we're going to um, start breaking out some stuff. There's going to be some new courses. Now, if you're in the corporate papers, you're going to get all of this new stuff. You're going to get all of this new stuff because I've been thinking um, there's a lot of stuff that I haven't really touched on because be honest, guys, I'm out of touch with the average man. I don't know what the, I, on a intellectual level, I know what the average man is going through, but on a personal day to day level, I have no clue. That's not my reality. That's not my life. And I need to you know, because one of the things I did, like in this building, we have concierges and I, I, I agree to each one of them. I ask them what their name and I talk to them and I, when I get, they tell me their name. I say their name five times. And every time I see them, I, I address them by their name. And there's some classy folks up in this joint. There's I'm like, I am so glad I moved here. I am so glad I moved here because I mean. You know, living where I used to live. I did have some good neighbors. I had a few good neighbors, but most of those people in the neighborhood, I didn't know. I've only been here since Saturday. I've met about 40 people and I've seen some of them multiple times and they remember my name. I love that. And also for all of you dissenters, my life has not changed. It's gotten better. <laughs> I know y'all hate that. I know y'all like, Oh, we're going to cancel Glenda. You can't cancel me because I have my own intellectual property. You can't cancel me. You can't. I want to speak to the manager. I'm the manager. What's, what's your damn problem? What's your damn problem? Fuck you. I'm the manager. <laughs> I am the manager. So you could take your little petty ass complaints and stuff them up your ass because I am the manager. And once again, there are all these folks who are trying to cancel me. Right. And it's kind of funny because the cancel is not because I fucked a 17 year old chick that has nothing to do with it. You know what has to do with it? This isn't a penthouse. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, it's a three bedroom. I could not get a penthouse. I'm in line for a penthouse. The penthouses were moving very quickly. So uh, I can be here six months and I can get, you know, my intention is to be here six months, then move up to the penthouse. That's my intention because I can do, I have to be here six months and I can transfer to the penthouse. So I'm going to be, that's, that's the plan. That's the plan because the penthouse this is 1,700 square feet and the penthouse is 2,500 square feet and it's higher. It's higher. So that's the goal. Uh, I'll do that. You know, I'll be down here six months. That's cool. I can, I can, I can, 
I can, I can work it out. I can work it out. So, you know, and it was funny. Uh, I was showing some of my friends where I was living and they were shocked because it was like, it's so roomy. I've never lived in a cramped apartment. Even when I was living in my first place, it was a two bedroom. I never lived in a cramped apartment. And this place, it feels, the energy is so good. It's so good. So um, I got to get me some funky patio furniture. I got, I got some crazy art coming. Um, and I'm probably going to put me an 84 inch television right there. <laughs> 85 inch because it's already set up and um, put that bad boy right there. Be on the sofa. I can have a party up in here and um, it's kind of interesting because I can literally have a party. I could probably have 20, 20, 25 people up in here easy. Yeah, about 20, 25 people. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to work on building that first business. And I, I got some exclusive uh, training for that because that's where the bulk of you are. Like I said, I've got some people who already have a business who are making money. They're fine, but the bulk of y'all are still in that struggle crawling stage and we got to get y'all out of that. We got to work with that. So there, there will be new training to address. And there's, there's a whole bunch of things I want to do in um, 2022. So we're going to have probably another conversation. Well, I don't know Sunday. I don't know what's going to happen Sunday. I might just drop the Hustlers University and then provide directions and directives and stuff, what you got to do, because I'm also understanding that a lot of you don't care how you make money. Now, I feel that that's a mistake. I think you should care. I think you should care. But a lot of you have not evolved to the point where you can be comfortable. Like I'm at a point where I'm not going to start a business just for the money. If I don't like it, I don't dig it. I'm not going to do it. But I'm at that point. And I'm, I'm having to think steps, many, many steps back where I was when I was just like, I need some damn money. And I, I'm trying to embody that for you guys because I feel that's where a lot of you guys are. I, I don't care what it is. As long as I put some money in my market, I'm cool. And I think that's why these template businesses are so hot. So we're going to work on that. We're going to work on leveling you up and we're going to have these challenges. And it's going to be a lot of fun because... Um, I know this is going to sound crazy, but this building has opened up my soul. I'll tell you what happened. This little Asian chick, cute as shit. She opened up the elevator. She put her arm out, held the elevator for me. She used her fob to get me up. And we had a pleasant little conversation. And this is happening every, every day. I love that. I love that. And then all my, my house is literally around the corner. My sushi's place is around the corner. And I, I just love it. I just love it. And this is just the first level. Because like I said, I'm going to the penthouse. It's just a matter of time. I am going to the penthouse. Six months to a year from now, I will be in a real penthouse. This is a three-bedroom where I have a bedroom, I've got the gym, and I've got an office but it's not a legitimate penthouse because uh, there was a place around the corner that was about 2,500 square feet. But then like this building, the first time I stepped in it, the energy was just like, this is where you want to be. I mean, literally a little voice said, this is where you want to be. And it's not in the heart of Buckhead. It's literally on the edge of Buckhead. And um, yeah, I think this was one of the better decisions that I made. One of the better decisions. So guys, we're going to get into a lot of training. I'm going to push some courses that have been out for a while that a lot of you don't even know about that you should be doing, you should be utilizing. So we're going to get into that. And I got to sit down with my assistant and work on some stuff because like the car rental business has finally smoothed out. Like I can manage it, man. Like I said, the car rental business has smoothed out tremendously. I can manage it. I can manage my other stuff. And uh, 
camera cut off to me, so some of this may be redundant. But Stephanie Mills put out a song years ago, I Feel Good All Over, and that's where I'm at. I feel marvelous. I feel magnificent. Moving here was one of the best decisions that I ever made. Once again, some of this may be repetitive because I don't know where it stopped, but this happened the other day. And I've seen this girl four times. She's Asian. And she is super cute. Not just cute, but super cute. And we've talked and she's, you know, I was coming around and she put her arm to stop the elevator door. And she used her key fob because my hands were full and we had a pleasant little conversation. I've met like about 30 people since I've been here. And unlike my old neighborhood, I had a few good neighbors, but most of them, I didn't know them. I didn't know them. So it's a different kind of energy. It's hip. You know, we got people up in here with some money. There's a Ferrari in the garage. There's several Porsches in the garage. There's the Bentley's Bentley truck, Bentley Rolls Royce in the garage. So I've got people up in here with some money. I got a lot of folks up here with some money. And th this is one of the things. Uh, this guy left this comment. If I'm a millionaire, I wouldn't be out here like that. I'm like, you're never going to be a millionaire. You're never going to be a millionaire. Because um, once again, in the beginning, most of you are not going to be millionaires. And that's okay. That's okay. You don't have to be a millionaire to be happy. Um, I was real happy and buck wild, right? When I was really in the sexual underworld, shout out to Ron Wills. I didn't have this kind of money. I didn't have a Porsche. I didn't have this kind of money. <laughs> I didn't even have even close to this kind of money. I would probably take six months to make what I make in a month now. Still good money, but not like what I do now. And um, it, it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. I got some hobosexuals who want to enter my life. They want to re-enter my life. It's kind of funny. I was having a conversation with someone this evening. And she wants to get into a serious relationship just like that. And I'm like, that ain't happening. But um, guys, we're going to get into a lot of new training, a lot of videos. I don't know if I said this before, but like I said, the camera stopped. Um, I got a little lazy. I was moving. It took me four weeks to move, man. And I was uploading no content because I just didn't have the energy. I mean, at the end of the day, I was just whipped. Now I'm going to be, you know, I've got all my camera stuff. I got my cable. I got my internet. Um, we're going to we're going to be rocking out. We're going to be doing certain things. We're going to be building up people because, like I said, I built the corporate toolbox and the corporate papers wrong. Those products for people who are already in business. So what we're getting ready to do, I have reopened Hustlers University. And what we're going to do is work on that first business because um, I, I've come to understand. Y'all don't care. Y'all don't give a damn how you make money as long as you make money. And once again, I'm at a position where I will not do something for money. If I don't like it, I don't enjoy it. I'm not going to do it. But I have that luxury. I have the opportunity, like the car rental business. I am starting to enjoy it, you know, because uh, I'm not buying any more cars to next year because I got to work on my utilization because I got 20 cars rented out and I got five cars I can't rent out and five cars in the shop. So I got to manage all that. But guys, we're going to start cooking. We're going to start doing some stuff because I was extremely happy before I became a millionaire. I was extremely happy living in the sexual underworld. And, you know, all this stuff that's going on, people are not mad that I fucked a 17 year old girl. That ain't what they're mad about. If I was Leroy, the dusty bus driver, and I put that video up, it would have went nowhere. But I am Glendon, the man, Cameron. And, you know, I'm seeing videos, YouTube millionaire, blah, 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 blah. I'm just sitting there like, if I was Leroy, the bus driver, and then put the video up, it would have like 30 views, 40 views. But because I'm Glendon Cameron, 
And this is why certain people keep continuing to make videos talking about it because they can get some mileage out of it. They're opportunists. And um, it's funny. It, it's, it's real funny. But for all you dissenters who come to watch these videos, my life has gotten better since that video. Not worse, better. <laughs> I'm actually happy. I'm actually happy. And this is one of the things that this just kills y'all because I get all these comments. Like, first of all, once again, you and I, random strangers, are not friends. And I don't owe you any explanations. I'm not going to have a conversation. I'm not going to chop it up with you. You know why? Because you are not on my level. I'm not punching down. Notice I've not done any response videos to any of these videos. That would be me punching down. I ain't punching down. A lot of these folks will put these videos up. They would get indexed in Google. And when people look me up, they'll find them. And, you know, it is what it is. But the majority of them are not going to get indexed. Only a few. And over time, they will drop in the rankings. Because, like, you think this is the first time I had people come after me? I have all kinds of stuff happen. Once again, you know what you do? Keep putting out content. Keep putting out content. Keep putting out content. Keep doing your thing. Keep putting out content. Keep putting out content. Because uh, I, I have people, why are you still on the internet, man? Because I choose to be. You can't make me take my ball and go home. Just like you can't cancel me because I own disruptivemail.org. I own Hustlers B, H, B School for Hustlers.com, uh, Hustlers University, and another site. These are my intellectual property that you cannot. I want to speak to the manager. I want to speak to the manager. Hold on a second. Let me go get him. I'm the manager. What, what, what's, what's, what's your complaint? Fuck you and your complaint. That's what the management says, because I'm the management. You hate that. You hate that. You hate that, that you cannot check me, boo. You can't go run and tell someone on me. I'm like, all these folks who are like, run and ask all these folks, like, you cannot tell on me. <laughs> this ain't romper room. This is not romper room. You cannot tell on me. Ooh, I'm going to tell your mama. I'm going to tell your mama. I'm going to tell your dad. No, you can't. But guys, um, we're going to get into a deeper level of training for beginners. Because uh, I've redesigned the content for Savage Finance. And I'm getting ready to do some stuff. where Because the thing is, I got to speak to you where you are. Not where I want you to be. And I think that I've been trying to get an elevated mindset, an elevated position that, frankly, you guys are not ready for. And it's not to say that you're not smart or ambitious. That, no, no. You're just not seasoned. You just don't. There's so many things you don't know. And I did not take that into consideration. Because I still have a lot of people in the corporate papers who've not started their holding company because they're scared. And the first thing we got to do is get these people some some wins. And once again, we're getting ready to get back. I'm going to teach you everything I know about resale, because even though I haven't done it on a professional level, I'm damn good at it. I am damn good at it because, you know, once I because, I, you know, like <clears throat> I went back to I've sold. $1,400 worth of stuff on Craigslist this weekend. I sold the washer and dryer for $850 today. Um, very nice washer and dryer. Very nice washer and dryer. So we're going to get into building businesses. We're going to get into credit. We're going to get into a lot of stuff. So the content's going to change. And there will not be any more old replays. Because like I said, man, I was moving. These last four weeks have been a trip. Because I have realized that I've got so much stuff that I don't need. And like today I was throwing stuff. I got a Goodwill bag there. I got to get real. Like I had this huge walk-in closet at the old place. And I had a bunch of clothes I didn't wear. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at them. And I'm going to you know, get my fit and style back. 
And um, if I'm not wearing these clothes, I'm donating them. I'm going to sell them. They got to go because uh, I'm getting ready to metamorphosize the metamorphosis of Glendon Cameron. We're getting ready. I'm start dressing up a little bit, get a little spiffy, a little spiffy. And um, it's kind of funny. One of the girls I'm dating, she saw the video and she was mortified. And she was like, you really are in all that kinky stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So she's a big TikTok person. <clears throat> but guys, once again, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for defending me. Thank you for fighting with the fools in the comments. I really appreciate that. Uh, it just warmed my heart because the last 12 years, 99.99% .99 of the work I've done has been good. And I'm very proud of that. And I've helped thousands of people make money and I've helped people change their lives and I'm going to continue to do that. So just be on the, the, the lookout for new content, new training, new videos. I'm like, this, this building has so many beautiful places that I can record. I just can't wait. I can't wait. And um, it's very interesting how whenever I say something, people make these videos like, you know, with the uh, cryptocurrency thing and, you know, Bitcoin is zooming. You don't have no Bitcoin. I got more Bitcoin than you do. Once again, I got I need to check that in Coinbase and see what that is, because I just have a little piece of Bitcoin. I see what it does. <laughs> you don't have no Bitcoin. You ain't going to make no money with cryptocurrency, but it's like. And also, I'm getting ready to start doing some more interviews. I'm going to start reaching out to other YouTubers and I'm going to tell them what I did. I'm going to tell them myself. It's like, hey, I put this very controversial video up. So I need you to know that before you come on the channel and become associated with me. And, you know, the majority of folks, like I said, they're not going to give a damn. They're just not going to give a damn. But um, guys, just get ready. We're getting ready to rock out. We're getting ready to do some different stuff. And um, yeah, it's about to get spiffy. It's about to get spiffy. So the link and the training is below. All right. So there's literally if you start the Hustlers University curriculum today, which is October 22nd, you will be working up November 22nd, December 22nd, January 22nd, February. There's five months of curriculum there to keep you busy, to help you start leveling up. And I'm going to start doing more inform informative videos and stuff. So just go ahead and get ready, guys. Just get ready. So that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next one. More new videos. Now, I don't know if I said this. I'm not in the penthouse. Not yet. The penthouse is going to come probably six months to a year from now because they're occupied. It was it was kind of a challenge to find a penthouse because they're they're moving quick. This building has like 350 apartments and they only had six available when I moved in. Six. Six. All right. So go below if you want the training and you can get in for 50 bucks a month. You can get in for a hundred bucks a month. And I am never going to change the price of that training. I'm going to leave that price alone. I'm not monkeying with it. And I may add some more stuff to it. Once again, there's going to be challenges. And if you're in Hustlers University, you will get the challenge. Now, one of the things that I'm going to do is, yeah, because you would have, you know, if you bought it a long time ago, you would probably be part of the challenges and stuff. So the links below, you can go ahead and get in there. Price isn't going to change. It's not going to escalate. And we're going to work on making the ordinary person exceptional. And we're going to help you level up. So this is Glendon Cameron. That's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next one.